Greetings and salutations, everybody. It is Mike, the Wrestling Collector, back at it again with a video. It's been 10 months, but I thought, why not make a new video? It's the holidays. You're welcome. Um, today, we're going to be looking at this bin of figures I have here. It's usually under my table that has my other things on it. Um, I don't really use them. They're usually on display, but I don't have room for them. So I figured I'd make this quick little video showing off some of my favorite figures, my rarest figures, things like that. So we're going to start off with this Elite CM Punk. It is the Jim Ross Builder figure with Elite 29 jacket and Elite 16 shirt. Next, we got this Triple H fix-up. It is the WrestleMania with a head swap, arm swap, added a knee brace and knee pad swap. Got the Ultimate Edition John Cena. Very cool figure. Got the AEW Unmatched, Darby Allen, also a very cool figure. Uh, ringside exclusive, Finn Balor. I have some weird ones in here. This is a basic Royal Rumble Heritage Shawn Michaels flashback, I'm pretty sure. Next up, we got, I just got this in the mail recently. I sold mine a long time ago. It's the Elite EC3. Got an entrance greats, Jeff Hardy, one of his best figures, I still believe. This is a cool fix-up I did. It's the uh, Elite 57 Jeff Hardy with Survivor Series arms and BEW continued to tattoo for me right there. And I added the face-painted head. It's a fix-up I recently did. If you don't follow my Instagram, at Mike the Wrestling Collector. It's the WrestleMania 29 Daniel Bryan with a head swap and knee pad swap. Next up is a custom, I guess, John Moxley. It's the ringside exclusive ECW Matt Hardy with an arm swap and head swap with the AEW uh, John Moxley figure. We got the Elite 50 Shane McMahon. We have Elite 72 Daniel Bryan with a head swap. Have another Daniel Bryan. It's the green one. Oh, I forgot the series. We got the Elite 69 Sting. Here's another weird one. A basic David Utunga. I don't know why. Got the WWE Shop exclusive Jeff Hardy. Also a very underrated figure. I just ordered the uh, the new double jointed arms. Mike Mail coming soon, by the way. Give it a couple days. Uh, we have the Ultimate Edition Rock. I just added the clothes because why not? Still, in my opinion, the worst Jeff Hardy Elite they've released. It's this one. It, I've grown to like it a little bit more, but still not the best. Uh, here's a fix-up Jeff Hardy. Um, it's just a random custom. One of my favorites, probably if not the best Elite Hardy in my opinion, the Elite 71. Highly recommend you get it if you can find it. Uh, underrated fix-up I did. It's the newest Jerry the King Lawler with the uh, commentator head. Make like an old school Jerry the King. Alright, next... Uh, the Wrestle, not the WrestleMania, the uh, Dead Man 30 Year Celebration Undertaker. Another real Michael McGillicuddy, my favorite superstar of all time, Michael McGillicuddy. If you don't have a Michael McGillicuddy, what the fuck are you doing, dog? Uh, we got the Elite 28 Dan O'Brien with custom cloth shirt. Uh, we have another fix up that I also like. I don't see a lot of people do this one. It's the ECW Matt Hardy again, but I gave him the fuck the Woken head scan. From his WrestleMania Elite. I don't know. I just figured I like that. Since we're on Matt Hardy. Here's the other one. WrestleMania one. Also very clean with the white. From when he won the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Very shitty figure in my opinion. The Ultimate Edge. You know. I use it as like a promo edge. Because that's why I have the shirt. But whatever. Got the DX Shawn Michaels. With one of the Ultimate Head Scans. I really like this. Seems like just yesterday those were in Walgreens. Now they're not. Um, we got the Elite Summer. I don't fucking remember. Daniel Bryan with a head swap. Ooh, the Great One's favorite wrestler. A basic Primo. It's also an underrated fix up I did a long time ago. It's the Terminator Triple H with white boots and a longer hair head scan. Very nice, very nice. All right, I'm trying to fix the lighting here. We have another A. Oh my God, what's going on with this lighting? Okay, we got an AEW Cody Rhodes. Recently released Keith Lee. I'm very unfortunate. Got a very good figure that I got 
couple days ago, I think, at Target, the Legends Billy Gun. Another underrated fix-up I did. It's the Fan Central Big Show Head and Arms on the Elite 10. Give them the all-black look. Got a custom Elite Jeff Hardy here. With, uh, I think it was made by Steinsenberg Customs, if I believe. One of my favorite Jeffs, the Survivor Series one. Another head, God damn, another head swap I did. It was on the most recent flashback from the WrestleMania set. Gave him a head swap. Maybe like a current day. Not really current day, but you know what I mean. Got a basic battle pack, Shane McMahon. Got another custom Jeff Hardy made by Steinsenberg Customs. It's just the, uh, the, I forget the series, but it's, it's the one with no shirt. Not the newest one, but it has a custom head and custom arms on it. We have the Ghostbuster Shawn Michaels. I would really like this figure a lot more if they didn't give him the fucking pale skin tone. Because I can't swap the head or... So, you know. Underrated figure, the WrestleMania Booker T. Kind of shelf-formed. But now it's gone up in value. So, if you don't have it, I feel bad. Um, Survivor Series John Morrison's my extra one. Uh, basic Shelton Benjamin. Basic Braun Strowman. Just kidding. Mike Knox. Remember him from SmackDown vs. Raw. Uh, this is a weird one. It's Legends John Cena with an ultimate screaming head. Why not? Got WrestleMania 30 Daniel Bryan. Also really like this figure. I want to head swap it with that True FX head scan with the long beard. Got a uh, fix up Kurt Angle. He actually reposted my post. That was very, very big deal for me. Uh, we got the uh, Decade of Domination Kane. Very underrated figure. So good, I have two of them. The other one's somewhere. Uh, we got the one Elite Undertaker. It's the big evil one, but I head swapped it. Got another Undertaker. It's the another random one with the red designs with a head swap from when he faced Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Got another one, another underrated Undertaker Elite 68. American Badass. Another recent one I got on clearance at Target was the Legends Macho Man. I got it for like Looking six dollars. Another one I got for like six dollars was this Big John Stud. This one I found in my shed with all my old figures. Typhoon. I believe it was a then now forever figure. Uh, another fix up I did was the entrance greats Jeff Hardy with the uh, extra head from Elite 71. Another figure I got on clearance Elite May Young. I think it was like four dollars at Walmart. Uh, we got the Epic Moments with no fix-up. I have one that has a fix-up. This one's just a regular one. Give them the United States Championship. All right, we're almost getting to the end here. We have a fix-up John Cena. I didn't really like the Ultimate, the first one. So what I did was I swapped the arms onto um, an older Cena, Elite 20, I think. Very nice fix-up. Here's the WrestleMania Undertaker with the True FX version of the good head scan. Not a bad figure, but... We'll knock out all these Undertakers. One of my favorites is the WrestleMania 30 with the red designs with a head swap. Um, this is another good fix-up. It's the 30 years with a head swap from the Basic 100. Um, this was the recent WrestleMania Edge. That's terrible, but I swapped the arms and the head scan. Tried to make it a little bit better. Um, another custom. It's a two-pack with Jeff or... It's still fucking Jeff Hardy with no shirt again, but I gave him the ringside exclusive uh, shirt, and this is a custom head by Steinsenberg. This is one of my older heel Roman Reigns as I did. Gave him the one gauntlet and the shield gauntlet. Uh, we got Brian Dan. Oh fuck, got Brian Danielson from AEW. It's Daniel Bryan from when he first started in WWE. We got Decade of Domination Triple H. We got basic Chris Masters. I don't know. I got random basics in here too, but we got one of my probably still my favorite Finn Balor Demon Elite, the Network Spotlight. We got the Chase Jeff Hardy, the blue. Uh, we got I think Kane's last like main roster Elite. I gave him a different mask from the Elite 68 Undertaker. This is from when he fought Brock and uh, Braun at the Royal Rumble. Underrated figure, the Hurricane. I can't wait for the new Legends. Got two basic Jeffs in here. Both the same with different heads. From head swaps. We got the Bruiserweight Pete Dunn. We got this custom Jeff Hardy, which is kind of cool. 
Reminds me of SmackDown vs. Raw. And the last but not least, this fix up on the shitty Elite. But I made it better by giving him the Survivor Series head and a different armband. So that's uh, the end of the bin besides a fucking championship and a Hulk Hogan bandana. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm going to try to be posting some more. I know you guys missed some of the videos. So I'm going to try my best. I'm not going to make any promises. But uh, follow me on Instagram at Mike Dressing Collector. And thank you for watching. And subscribe. And uh, yeah.